TGR. Hey guys, it's your boy Ch Ch Chow Onyx. Ch -ch -ch -chow. <laughs> and on the other side, uh, maybe over here, yeah, maybe I, over there. Yeah, I'm not I'm... really sure where. <laughs> but who do we have? It's Rudy. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Uh, you know, chilling. As you can see, my face is now here. We were able to uh, procure a camera, a webcam from the interwebs. Uh, as some of you may know, this global pandemic has obviously uh, had a webcam shortage out of all things. Uh, but then again, we have a toilet paper shortage, so <laughs> I guess it's not that surprising. No, not at all. Um, not at all. But yeah, so here I am. Uh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get into this uh, this week's weekly resume. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll start with some news that's a little bit old, <laughs> but we wanted to talk about it because we feel like it is pretty important. Mm -hmm. uh, but according to Nintendo Life, Metro Prime 4 developer Retro Studios has hired Battlefield, Tomb Raider, and Borderlands artists. Now, this is kind of cool, Rudy. Yeah. It, it, it's cool because in particular... You know, Nintendo as a company, they tend to keep things to themselves, which is cool. I mean, obviously, it, it gives them their quality that they are known for and all that stuff. Right. Uh, but bringing in people that have worked in other franchises and whatnot, um, and, and this kind of it's a sentiment that Arlo shares too. Mm -hmm. It gives them that ability to bring in more knowledge, right? Bring in more that triple A knowledge of, of of working on these other big companies and all these big uh, these big games. Right. So it, it, it's pretty cool. It makes me a little bit more excited for Metro Prime 4. I mean, I'm kind of right there with you, man. Like, Nintendo has always been, they always hold their cards close. That's how we got that the Paper Mario uh, Origami King surprise that right. came out of freaking right. nowhere. <laughs> I'm honest with you. But um, no, man, like, it's exciting because mm -hmm. I, it, when you, ha it, to me, it's, Metroid has always felt like it's a little bit more not realistic in the sense of like whatever but a, a lot of the um the textures and stuff like that they, they've always been the best that uh the console could do they um, were metric prime yeah like when they moved to 3d yeah. it was like top of the line graphics like oh, yeah. for the the entirety of that generation i felt like metric prime and metric prime 2 um were kind of like the best looking games yeah man and if not like way up there because it wasn't just a matter of the textures, like you mentioned, but it was also the effects. Right. Right. Like you remember, like Samus's visor fogging up, or like yeah. if you walk through a waterfall, water would get on, or like when you walk through like the um, the steam, like the steam would come on and would just fog you up, but you could see like Samus's eyes looking like if you turn, you would yeah. see her eyes turning to where you're. It was just like that attention to detail mm -hmm. that made it be like that graphical powerhouse, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dang dude like honestly like for me it, it was definitely one of those things that like um i just, i don't know i i'm just i'm hopeful that everything goes smoothly and that mm -hmm. um that everything goes ahead and you know just plays out as best as it could i, I know that metroid prime 4's development has already been kind of like meh in regards to everything but i hope that um bringing in people that are a little bit more um well not they're not more experienced but you know what i'm saying like p bringing in help from the outside Right. and ooh, it's raining i don't know if the mic picked that up but it definitely like thundered hardcore over here <laughs> <laughs> i don't hear it right now so yeah it, it's florida what do you expect yeah um but no i i, I hope that you know that everything uh goes well and uh we'll see Same. i mean i'm hoping that we get some news eventually i don't know right right it's it's been a long time man it's already been what three years since it was announced has it? It yeah. was 20, yeah. 2017 uh, E3. Yep. yep, 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 yep. So we're going on three years now. I know they restarted, what's it, last year? Mm -hmm. They had to restart development, so yep. I'm hoping it's going along well. I mean, you know, all we can do is wait at this point. <laughs> I, I agree. How much longer we can wait? Probably another year and a half, two years before yeah. I'm, like, dying. I know, I know. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. We will. Now, talking about new games and waiting for other stuff that's coming out, um, uh, a user on Reset Era by the name of Onyx555, which is kind of ironic, <laughs> um, uh, made a, a post, mm -hmm. and it, it states that Monolith Software, the guys behind Xenoblade Chronicles, 
Uh, they have a new game of development headed by Production Group One, which is the main Xenoblade team. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's interesting because there was a, a, a new issue of Famitsu. Mm-hmm. They interviewed uh, Tetsuya Takahashi, mm-hmm. which um, obviously he's, he's a, one of the leadership at uh, Xenoblade. Mm-hmm. And uh, Production One, I'll just kind of read it verbatim here. Production Group One is both doing the deluxe edition of Xenoblade, which is coming out at the end of this month, and a new game. Um, and they also stated that production game or production group two is assisting on breath of the wild two. So Xenoblade or uh, not Xenoblade, but monolith soft, Mm -hmm. they're pretty busy. The fact that they're working on a new game, they just finished DE. So that's going to come out very soon. Um, and they're helping breath of the wild too. Like that's, that's pretty exciting for the company. I bet. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, like I hope that they aren't stretched thin. That, that's... I yeah I hope so too and it's interesting too uh, a nice little tidbit the feature connected which is that new like epilogue or, uh, uh, no not epilogue prologue prologue mm-hmm. right uh, for it's after the story I think it's after that would be an epilogue okay sure that's what it is <laughs> um, but that that epilogue that uh, uh, definitive edition is gonna have for Xenoblade mm-hmm. One it's ten to twelve hours up to twenty if you complete everything mm-hmm. and they said it could have been longer if it had been done as paid DLC but that would have required resources that would have taken away from the new game. Uh, so that is kind of interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I, I see I see yeah. where you're coming from. That actually is pretty interesting. So do, do you think that they're going to... Well, I don't know. Like, do you think that they're going to go ahead and, like, kind of, like, just make a, a direct sequel? Or, like... I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. I don't know if they're... I mean, if they do another Xenoblade, that would be cool. But they just did Xenoblade Chronicles 2. They just did Xenoblade Chronicles 1 Definitive Edition. Like, maybe they should try a new IP or something, you know? Yeah. Or, or, or like, something radically different. Mm-hmm. Like, they did with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X and, like, the big uh, focus on mech and traversal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. That'd be kind of interesting. But I mean, I don't we'll, know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, when it, when it comes down to it, like, I mean, I... I've never played a Xenoblade Chronicles game. I, I have right. very, very little experience, but that doesn't take anything away from the clout that the studio has. Um, I, would, I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. What they happens. help with Breath of the Wild one as well. So, well, that's the thing. Uh, and if if you're watching the YouTube uh, feed, my cat is all over <laughs> my desk right now. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Great. So, um, but uh, but no, man. I I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I feel like this is definitely one of those games that, um, or one of the developers that they know what they're doing. I, I feel like Indeed. you know once once things settle down, it'll be kosher. Right, right. Um, okay, and for the last bit of news for this week, it's not you know really news per se. Um, this is a first for TGR. So if you're listening or watching. Uh, I guess we've had our first insider reach out to us. Quote, quote, quote. Um, and it's, it's a little bit of a rumor. Um, you know, it could be nothing or it could be something. Um, but uh, somebody reached out to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, since we're, well, I'm the big uh, Yakuza fan here. No, oh, yeah. Um, Trying to get me to play <laughs> They reached out and they kind of just wanted to let me know that there um, is a major possibility that Yakuza Like a Dragon is going to have a dub. And, of course, they weren't able to provide any concrete information. They just provided me a picture, which you'll see it here. Um, And it just kind of shows you that this uh, dubbing group uh, had the name Yakuza Like a Dragon listed on their credits for some sort of, like, call or something they were having Mm -hmm. at the time. So people that were inside the community got a hold of it, and it kind of leaked. So that's really all it is, of course, if they didn't want to use their name or, or their username or anything like that. So obviously, I'm going to keep that uh, you know, off the record. Uh, but pretty pretty cool stuff. Uh, apparently, Yakuza Like a Dragon is going to have an English dub uh, that hasn't been announced yet. So if you're interested in the series and you like playing it in English, which hasn't been around since the first Yakuza and Judgment, uh, we might get uh, an English dub. So if, you, if, you, if that is actually true... You heard it here first, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You know what? It, it's I'm, you answered my question for me because I have not played any of the Yakuza games, but I am intrigued. I have Zero and Kiwami uh, downloaded and installed in my computer, uh, and I was wondering, like, do, are, are those dubbed, Kiwami and Zero? No. So, th- so it's all no, Japanese all subtitles. Japanese. It was the only one that was dubbed was the very, very first one when uh-huh. it first came out on PS2. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, and yeah. then and you, it's funny you mentioned because Judgment. they had Mark Hamill. 
What? He was like one of the actors. He played Majima, the guy with the eye patch. What? Yeah, that yeah, is so yeah, freaking insane. cool. Oh yeah. man, that that's awesome. I had no idea. I had no idea. That yeah. is that is really cool. Well, dude, that'd be awesome though. Um, though I will be honest, like those games, why? Like I would prefer to play it uh, subbed over dubbed. I, I agree with you. I I am of the belief that if it comes from Japan or anywhere really. Uh, it should have that language, right? right. Like the, the native language, I feel, would translate better mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like the setting and what the the, the creators wanted to portray. Right. Uh, that's why I obviously play all my Japanese games in Japanese um, and stuff like that. Um, minus Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, I don't play in Japanese because of the like the, the the language dub is so well done. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I mean, David Hayter. Right, and and then well, he got replaced with Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> Which was so weird. It was so it weird. Was very weird. I, I don't know why, um, but Kojima. It's Kojima, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and also Witcher Three. I don't. I don't play that in Polish. I've never have. Even though it's, I tried. You know, I've heard the Polish dub is really good. The Polish dub is really good. I, I tried it. I started it up, and um, but it was after I had already like dumped like an 150 hours into it. So I was like, am I really gonna you know play like another 150 hours of this yeah, game yeah. just so that I could listen just to, to it in, in Polish? Polish. So, um, and, and it's cool because like, you know, um, he, he Geralt and it's, it's different. It's a different experience. And you, I'm sure you understand it, especially with playing Yakuza and everything like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, is. and any, any game where you're just like, you know what? I would rather play in Japanese. We'll find out with Ghost of Tsushima. That's for sure. Um, oh my God. But I'm playing that in Japanese. Because, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to play it in Japanese it as well. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. I, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. So. Absolutely. But guys, as you can tell, this week has been pretty slow um, in terms of news and big things in the in the industry. But anyway, that's our show for the week. We Damn. hope you enjoyed. If you like what you heard or like what you saw, leave a comment below and yeah. do the YouTube stuff. Hit the likes and the comments and the subscribes and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're listening to the podcast, obviously subscribe, leave a review if there is an option to leave a review, and. What else? I was gonna say something else, and now I totally spaced out on it. Thanks to my cat. But thanks, uh, Ginger. Thanks, yeah. But no, if there's something that we did miss in regards to news, could you let us know in the comments? Mm -hmm. Like, um, we've both been kind of busy. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah. And keep in mind, it is, it is Thursday evening right now, uh, May 21st. So if something comes out like May 22nd, and you see this on Sunday, then you I mean you'll know why. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for me. Indeed, indeed. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Ciao! <laughs> Ciao, baby! <laughs> Later, y'all. Well, deuces. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe, hit the little bell, and join our Discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.